Chesapeake resident Amy Carraway has had fibromyalgia for the past 10 years. When you're chronically fatigued and exhausted and you're hurting and you're inflammated all the time. The disorder can be debilitating and there's no cure. Finally, it got to the point to where I wasn't able to get out of bed. Two years ago, a friend told her about cryotherapy, exposing your body to below freezing temperatures for several minutes. We're talking more than 200 degrees below zero. She made an appointment at Restore Hyper Wellness and Cryotherapy in Virginia Beach. Takes it and it sort of kind of just kind of numbs it down. She's been coming back once a week ever since. It takes it from a 10 to an 8, sometimes to a 7, sometimes to a 5. We know that cryotherapy works and it helps decrease inflammation in the body. Dr. Ryan Light tells me that cold therapy has been used for years. Cold ice baths have been used for a variety of ailments, but cooling the body this low, this fast is new, and he says it can be very effective. When we swell up a joint really big, or with arthritis or any of those things, what happens is that pressure is what causes the pain. So it slows down the pain and inflammation so that your body can heal more slowly instead of an over response. I wanted to see for myself what it would feel like to stand in a canister in your birthday suit in sub-zero temperatures. So registered nurse Jason Han helped me along. In you go. They give you gloves, socks, and slippers to prevent frostbite, and you can wear your underwear, but nothing containing metal. Again, if at any point you feel like it's too much, we can stop. As the temperature in my pod started plummeting, I automatically started moving around to stay warm. It was about 30 seconds in when I didn't think I'd last the full three minutes. We usually talk to people through this process just to distract them. As I'm trying to ask Jason questions, my mouth doesn't want to work. Let whatever. I can't talk right now. <laughs> you're, you're, I tell you what, you can't talk because you're there. You're at negative 225. I almost feel like I have icicles on my skin. <laughs> After three minutes, I'm out. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel good, invigorated. While my trip in the deep freeze was for show and tell, for people with chronic pain like Amy, cryotherapy is a way to get some much needed relief. Over the past two years, uh, my flare ups haven't been as much as an alternative to pain medicine, it's just a different way of pain management.